jump into PC Gen today. I'm going to be doing a, a tutorial on building characters in the Pathfinder system using the PC Gen character generation program. Um, it's a really powerful tool, but there's a, not very much documentation on their website or in the forums or on YouTube for how to actually like use it step by step. So um, let's get started. The uh, first thing you're going to want to do is tab over to advanced and uh, let's see there's a lot of different source books that you could get and uh, there's ones from third party and then also from Paizo but I usually like to start with like two or three and then build up slowly for like a group I have five here that I'm pretty comfortable with and like know how they all work um, and that just keeps it from when like you're looking through feeds for there to just be a thousand options, you know So the five that I'm going to use are the Pathfinder RPG for players, the advanced class guide, ultimate campaign, ultimate combat, and ultimate equipment um, So once you get all of those selected if they aren't then you just double click from here like so or oh But uh, we don't need the bestiary, so I'm going to take it back out and click load. Okay, now that we're loaded into PC Gen, you can just go ahead and click the create new character button up here in the top left. And you can see basically just a, a character sheet but laid out a little differently and down on the bottom left you can see the things to be done box and we're just basically going to follow straight through what it tells us to do on there checking back to the summary page so the first thing it wants us to do is enter name and we're going to go ahead and use the random name generator and see what it gives us yep looks fine to me if you already have one picked out, you can just write it into this box right here. Um, and then the next thing it wants us to do is select an ability score. And obviously you need to uh, know what kind of character you're using. Uh, we're going to be making a monk today. And so I just went ahead and grabbed an epic fantasy stat block from RPGBot.net from the monk handbook for Pathfinder. So we're going to start dumping those stats in here. 17 and 13 for strength 14 for constitution 8 for intelligence Sixteen for wisdom and you can see right there that it says that we've just exceeded the 25 point uh, epic fantasy buy that we're using. Um, it won't stop you from entering that stat. It'll just let you know. And then obviously when we drop our seven into charisma, you can see right here it says 25 of 25 for epic fantasy point buy. If you wanna use a different method, you could just uh, click the method button right here and you have a whole bunch of different options, including just typing in whatever you want. So let's see. Next, right here, it has us selecting a race. We're going to go human and adult. And looking back down at the things to be done, it says next add a class and add a level so you can either do that right here in the class and level box or you can jump over to the class tab and the class tab is going to have a lot more information on each class um, we're going to want to jump up we're going to want to go to monk so you just type monk into the search bar and you can see right here it's uh it's read it out which means we can't select it not qualified to take the class and you can see down here in the requirements that you need to either be lawful good, lawful neutral, or lawful evil. So we can jump back over to the summary page, go to our alignments, and we're just gonna go ahead and go with lawful neutral, tab over to the class, and add one level of monk. And 
and it'll pop up with uh, the free clothing and we're just gonna wanna go ahead and take Monk's outfit, okay, bad. And now it's giving us our HP rolled. If you want to roll this yourself, you can type in whatever number here. Um, I usually like to go max HP at the first level, so just make sure that's at eight and close it. And then we can jump back over to our summary page. So the next thing it wants us to do is skill points. So we click that and it'll take us to our skills tab. Um, you wanna make sure this class button is clicked. That'll just display here uh, class skills that you have, not all of them. Um, and for this, we have four skill points you can to spend. It's right there. And we're gonna go one into acrobatics, one into climb, one into perception, and sense motive. And jump back over this uh, to the summary and now it wants us to select an ability bonus for being human and we're gonna go ahead and dump that into strength and now the favored class and we're gonna favor monk usually always pick the class that you start with as your favored class uh, and now it wants us to pick our favorite class bonus. We're gonna click qualified here and we're gonna take the bonus key points. Um, and next, it's gonna want us to do feats. So click that, it'll take us over to our feats tab. And I'll, I'll, this is usually where you get bogged down choosing. There's a lot of feats, even with just those five source books that we have picked out. Um, luckily, I already grabbed some, so we're going to go combat, reflexes, combat, where is it, reflexes. And then also dodge since we're probably not going to be wearing armor and then you can see down here where it says we have two feats we also have a monk bonus feat to pick we can go ahead and grab that while we're at it and we're going to take improved grapple okay and then back over to our summary, we have a human racial subtype. We're gonna go no racial subtype for right now. And the last thing to do is traits. So again, there's just like so many, but I decided previously, I'm gonna go ax to grind. And then oath bound. And if you know what you're looking for, that search feature can really save you a lot of time scrolling through menus. So now when we go to our summary, you can see that we don't have any things to be done. So what we're gonna wanna do right now is first save our progress. And it just goes, it saves it with the name of whatever you have in the uh, character name if you click that. And we go over to character sheet takes a second to load and you can see we have pretty much a filled out character sheet all of our stats and abilities if you scroll down to the bottom you can see proficiencies traits special attacks special abilities feats um, pretty much everything that we just decided is on this page like it would be on your normal character sheet. But obviously, that is not everything. We're going to want to get some stuff. So um, here, basically, this is a list of every item that is in those source books. You can also create some custom items, which we're going to touch on really briefly right here. Um, 
but we're probably going to need to add some funds. Now, usually when I play games, it's uh, some amount of money plus uh, one plus one item. So we're going to first do our plus one item. And I'm going to go comma double chained. But we're going to want to make it plus one. So we go ahead and add custom. Bring this. You double click the attributes that you want to give to the weapon or like that. And you can see that now it's a plus one. It would cost 2,308. We're going to try to buy it, but it says, oh, we have insufficient funds. So I'm going to click allow debt. Then go ahead and you can see that piece of equipment we just made a plus one double chain comma. We're going to add that equipment. And now you can see that we are negative 2,308 GP. Now, now I'm going to go ahead and add in uh, some cash. So I'm going to say we start this game with 100 gold pieces. And you can see, you know, that's all gone now. We're going to uncheck allow debt. So now any further shopping that we do uh, is going to happen subtracting from that gold. Um, next, I'm, I have a little trick to grab a bunch of starting equipment, which is you go to edit, add kit, and just grab, where is it? There it is, monk's kit. And that's gonna take a second because it's also uh, equipping all of those items. So now you can see we got a backpack blanket, a pouch, rations, etc., etc. I don't, yeah, there's 50 feet of rope, so everything's gonna be fine. Um, now you wanna tab over to equipment and you can see that we're still naked and we're not holding our comma. So what we're gonna wanna do is select one thing and hit equip selected. It'll usually put it in the right spot. You might have to change that, but we don't. And then we're gonna equip our clothes. And so now we can jump back over to our character sheet. It's going to take a second to update with the changes that we've just made to it. And now you can see our outfit and our comma are both equipped. And you can see all the stat blocks for our comma and the different ways that we could use them right here. So, you know, we're pretty much off to the races on a first level character. I'm going to go ahead and... Before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and save it. Um, and now, a lot of times what I like to do is actually copy over this information onto a paper sheet in pencil. It's just how I like doing things. Um, but you can print it, although I do recommend instead of using their built-in print, use export. Just use the base options and click that button and it'll make you a nice little PDF which you can then print from or send to people or put on a tablet or whatever you want. But it's it'll be print formatted instead of how this is formatted. So, all right, we're all done. Um, check out my next video. It's going to be on leveling this character and possibly getting into a little bit of stuff with casting. Hope this helped. Bye.